Newcastle disease was first discovered in 1926 in Java, Indonesia, and almost simultaneously in Newcastle upon Tyne, England, hence the name. It is a highly contagious viral disease affecting birds, particularly domestic poultry. The disease was identified due to its significant impact on poultry health, causing severe respiratory distress, nervous manifestations, and high mortality rates. Newcastle disease is a highly contagious viral disease affecting birds worldwide, with a significant impact on domestic poultry. The virus responsible for Newcastle disease is known as avian paramyxovirus 1, APMV1, which is capable of infecting a wide range of avian species. The route of infection for Newcastle disease primarily involves direct contact with infected birds or their bodily discharges, such as feces, nasal secretions, and saliva. The disease can spread rapidly within poultry farms or between wild and domestic bird populations due to the high density of birds and close quarters in which they are often kept. Infection can also occur indirectly through contact with contaminated surfaces, equipment, feed, water, or through airborne transmission over short distances. The virus is known for its resilience and can remain infectious in the environment for several weeks, depending on the conditions. Human activities, such as the movement of infected birds, contaminated vehicles, equipment, and clothing, can further facilitate the spread of the disease. Although humans can be exposed to the virus, usually through contact with infected birds, it typically causes only mild, flu-like symptoms in humans and is not considered a significant threat to human health. The disease manifests in birds with a range of clinical signs, from mild or asymptomatic infections in some species to severe respiratory distress, neurological dysfunction, and high mortality rates, especially in susceptible chicken flocks. Vaccination and strict biosecurity measures are key strategies in controlling the spread of Newcastle disease, especially in regions with intensive poultry production. Newcastle disease, a highly contagious viral disease affecting birds, manifests through a wide range of symptoms, varying in severity from mild to lethal. The disease's impact can differ significantly among avian species, with domestic poultry, particularly chickens, often experiencing more severe symptoms. Initially, infected birds may exhibit respiratory signs, including sneezing, gasping for air, nasal discharge, and coughing, indicative of the virus's attack on the respiratory system. As the disease progresses, it affects the digestive tract, leading to symptoms such as greenish, watery diarrhea, a clear indicator of the body's struggle to fight the infection. Neurological dysfunction is another hallmark of Newcastle disease, with birds displaying signs of depression, muscular tremors, paralysis of wings and legs, twisted necks, torticollis, and incoordination. These symptoms reflect the virus's capacity to cause severe neurological damage. The disease also takes a toll on the bird's overall condition, leading to a rapid decline in health characterized by lethargy, loss of appetite, and a significant drop in egg production in laying birds. Eggs that are produced may have thin shells or be misshapen, further signaling the virus's impact on the bird's health. In its most severe form, Newcastle disease can lead to sudden death, often without any preceding symptoms, especially in highly susceptible bird populations. The rapid spread and potential for high mortality rates make Newcastle disease a significant concern for poultry industries worldwide, necessitating vigilant monitoring, immediate reporting of outbreaks, and strict biosecurity measures to control its spread. Treating Newcastle disease poses a challenge, as there is no specific treatment available for the virus itself. The management of Newcastle disease primarily focuses on prevention, control, and supportive care for affected birds. Vaccination is the cornerstone of prevention, with various vaccines available that can significantly reduce the incidence and severity of the disease in poultry populations. These vaccines are administered to birds at different life stages, depending on the specific vaccine type and the risk profile of the flock. In the event of an outbreak, controlling the spread of the disease becomes paramount. Infected birds should be isolated immediately to prevent the virus from spreading to healthy individuals. Biosecurity measures should be heightened, including disinfection of premises, equipment, and footwear, as well as implementing strict controls on the movement of birds, people, and goods into and out of affected areas. 
Supportive care is also crucial for infected birds, aiming to maintain their health and minimize suffering. This can include providing electrolytes and vitamins to support hydration and overall health, ensuring clean and comfortable housing to reduce stress, and maintaining optimal environmental conditions. Authorities often mandate the culling of infected and exposed birds in severe cases to control the disease's spread. This drastic measure, combined with cleaning and disinfection of the environment, helps to eliminate the virus from affected premises. Farmers and poultry producers are encouraged to maintain vigilant surveillance for signs of Newcastle disease and to report any suspected cases to local agricultural or veterinary authorities promptly. This collective effort in prevention, control, and supportive care is essential in managing Newcastle disease and mitigating its impact on poultry industries and backyard flocks alike.